Yeah, good afternoon, YouTube. So I got this package the other day. It came from a eBay seller. I'll put a link in the video description here. And there were two of these. I already opened one. So this is a DC to DC boost converter. Nothing unusual there. Got a pretty nice heat sink. Pretty pretty heavy heavy heat sink. Got your two. Uh, Power transistors there, probably MOSFETs. This one has, let's see, it's got a coaxial power input and a two terminal input power. Got your output power here, and then it's got a current and voltage adjust potentiometer there, if you can see those two. And this unit is rated at 12 to 60 volts on the input side and 12 to 80 volts on the output side. I actually tested the other one I got and it ran up to actually about 86 volts. Let me look at the capacitors here. Oh yeah, there are 100 volt capacitors voltage. So you got a 63 volt input capacitor which matches up to the 60 volt input. And then this thing can do 0 to 15 amps input and 0 to 10 amps output. And it's rated at 600 watts. Now the only way you could probably get that is on the input side, 40 volts times 15 amps. And on the output, you could do maybe 60 volts and 10 amps. I'm mainly going to use this at 12 volts, so I'm kind of limited to what around 180 watts total power for one of these. But what I wanted to do with this is see if I can make like a DC load or an electronic load for testing battery capacity. So since it handles 12 volt input and you can set the output current and voltage, you can dial in a pretty stable input current. So if you set this up to output, say, you know, 30 volts at 4 amps, that's around 120 watts, you'd get about 10 amps on the input. So you could run a 10 amp load on a battery and measure how much current and amp hours. Plug one of these in, either on the input or on the output, depending on where you want to measure your capacity. So you could measure your, your amp hours, watt hours, and use this as kind of an electronic load. And these are only about twelve and a half dollars, and that's a lot less than a you know, an official electronic load. If you wanted to take a 100 amp hour battery and discharge it 20%, you've got to burn up 20 amp hours of power. You could feed 10 amps in here and record it on a meter and hook up the output to some sort of load. And then you can adjust your current and voltage to make the input current look like what you want. So one of the reasons I liked this one is it had a reasonably high voltage output and that would let you use something like that 300 watt halogen bulb and these are six seven dollars for a 300 watt load. If you buy a 300 watt resistor it's a lot more than that. These you can just pick up at a regular old hardware store so I was thinking that might be kind of a neat load. You could also use like a you know a heat lamp or something like that to burn up the heat. And then I got to thinking what else has an open circuit voltage that's your voltage adjust has a short circuit current and operates like 20, 30, 40, 50 volts. That sounded to me an awful lot like a solar panel. So how about we take one of these and I could make a virtual solar panel out of it. 